In the darkest regions of the undergrowth lies the kingdom of one of the most beautiful Fedole ants. These Fedole ants have been living here peacefully since a long time. However, since last few days, the colony is on high alert. They have been finding many of their workers wounded and defaced. The big-headed ant soldiers are trying their best to find out the cause behind such fate of their sisters. Is this some kind of disease or are they under attack? However, the soldiers are not being able to find out any reason behind the sad fate of their sisters. The whole colony comes together and searches the darkest corner of the dark land. But they can find nothing. But in one of the dark corners looms the agent of death which the ants are so desperately searching for. It is a lone termite soldier. One unfortunate fatal walker walks right up to the termite soldier. Before it could understand anything, it is already down by the deadly strike of the termite soldier. After having done with the Fedole walker, the termite soldier raises his jaws and makes a rattling sound as if giving an open challenge to his enemies. The rattling of the termite soldier echoes to all of the Fedole kingdom. Some of the bold Fedole soldiers signals back a warning sound in reply. As if it has sensed the presence of his enemies, the termite soldier moves towards the Fedole nest as if searching for the challenger. And soon, they meet. With their jaws drawn wide apart as if ready to hit the killing blow, both the adversaries have a good look at each other. And then, the battle begins. Here there is no doubt that the jaws of the Fedol Major are super strong. But the jaws of the Tormite Soldier are not only stronger but the Tormite Soldier is striking with them with lightning speed. The Fedole Soldier is beginning to show signs of fatigue and fear. And so soon the Fedole Soldier retreats and runs back into its nest. But it looks like the termite soldier is not done yet. It has followed the Fedole Major right up to her nest and is still attacking her. But the Major just cannot garner enough courage to come out and fight the termite soldier. Due to the submissive behavior of the Fedole Major, the termite soldier soon loses interest and walks away. This incident sends a shockwave across the Fedole Kingdom. The whole colony is demoralized. The workers start to move the eggs to safety. But the termite soldier is still standing on the way and she seems to be in no mood to let them pass. A Fedole Major tries to confront her. But seeing the aggression of the termite soldier, the Major soon runs away. The termite soldier makes rattling sound in anger. Another Fedole Major 
tries to fight back the termite soldier, but he too is forced to back off. Just then the termite soldier attacks a passing Fedoli walker. But unlike other ants, the walker do not try to run away. Instead, she charges back at the termite soldier, caring least for her life. The termite soldier is taken aback by the counter-attack of the Fedole walker. In her confusion, she drops her defense for a while and that is the only opportunity needed by the Fedole walker to bite her leg. Now the bite of the Fedole walker is not super strong, so as to cut off the legs of the termite soldier. But it is causing much pain to the termite soldier. The furious attack of the termite soldier has almost killed the Fedole walker, but she refuses to let go the termite soldier's leg. Taking advantage of the situation, the rest of the colony makes an escape, leaving their brave sister and the languishing termite soldier behind. Next day, when some of the Fedole ants return back to take stock of the situation, all they can find is a dead termite soldier and their brave selfless sister still holding on to the leg of the dead termite soldier. And you know what? The Fedole walker is miraculously still alive.